Good morning. I'm Barbara Baldazzi, I work in ISTAT, and uh, I'm very glad to introduce uh, this session on support and evaluation of education and training policies uh, synergies between institutions. This session was organized uh, from Imbalsi and ISTAT, and uh, is based on the idea of being able to work together uh, on integrated database, even if, uh, even if they come from different sources in the spirit of the national statistical systems. In fact, in the last year, the national statistical system are called upon to respond to issue, uh, issue that has uh, highlighted and uh, further accentuated the school dropouts, inadequate skills, uh, difficulties in accessing tertiary education, educational poverty, and vulnerability of some categories of uh, students. And for this, uh, we um, uh, think about uh, this section uh, for uh, synergies between uh, institutions. And uh, I um, propose to change the order of the uh, papers. And we start with uh, Giovanna Brancato. Um, Giovanna Brancato and Donatella Grassi with uh, the contribution towards an integrated uh, system for the production of relevant statistical data on education and training. Uh, the floor is yours, Giovanna. Thank you, Barbara. Good morning, everybody. Okay. Um, so, um, education and training is a key issue for the development uh, of the country and uh, its economic and social growth and to reduce inequalities. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the 17 uh, uh, sustainable development goals set by the UN 2030 agenda, uh, SDGs agenda, uh, is uh, focused on uh, um, ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promote the lifelong learning opportunities for all, uh, which indicators are aimed at uh, um, ensuring, uh, uh, ensuring qual uh, access uh, to pre-primary, secondary, uh, technical, vocational, and tertiary education uh, by eliminating gender disparities in education and ensuring equal access for vulnerable people. In the framework of the uh, next uh, generation EU program, Italy has developed its uh, uh, recovery and resilience plan, uh, where one of uh, the six missions is uh, focused on uh, education and research. And uh, within uh, uh, this mission, mission four, there are two components. And the first component uh, mm, states that uh, Italy wants to substantially increase the offer of educational services from early childhood, uh, childhood care services to university. And um, uh, main, um, let's say specific objectives, objectives and uh, um, investments and measures uh, are uh, basically uh, um, aimed at uh, uh, in the improvement of education and training service, uh, the reform of uh, uh, teachers' profession, uh, the improvement of skills uh, such as the digital skills, uh, STEM, uh, uh, STEM and languages, and infrastructures, and uh, finally reform uh, and improve the PhD program. So uh, in order to, co to continuous monitoring uh, over time in terms of territorial cohesion, uh, this, this field, it is necessary to um, start from this uh, topic, define uh, tailored indicators and uh, identify the uh, needed sources to uh, produce uh, such indicators. And ISTAT already has implemented a, a system uh, to uh, 
estimate uh, statistics in this field. And uh, this system is based on the use of administrative data, uh, data from surveys uh, carried out by ISTAT and data from surveys carried out by other producers and also aggregate data. Up to today, uh, these processes are still independent of each other and organized according to a stovepipe approach, which means that given uh, uh, the, out the outputs that we want to produce, uh, more or less we use uh, um, separately each uh, source, uh, being administrative or survey data. Um, such a system uh, uh, can be improved and, uh, in, let's say, um, further uh, developed in order to better exploit the available information. And uh, this uh, lead uh, to the idea of uh, uh, developing a new system for the statistical produc production on education and training. And this new system hinges around a thematic register on education and training, which is part of a wider system of integrated register developed at ISTAT. In this uh, thematic register, the uh, single uh, uh, sources are uh, integrated after a pro process of validation and harmonization. And also some survey data are integrated. However, the system, the, the register also provides back information uh, to some surveys, uh, for example, uh, frames or lists for drawing uh, samples or to assist uh, the sampling design or uh, data for um, uh, editing and imputation or validation of, of uh, survey data. Uh, on the other uh, part uh, side, the, this uh, system allows to um, produce uh, the current uh, outputs. And we also are confident that new outputs uh, will be possible, better uh, responding uh, to uh, the new emerging uh, information needs. So the main objectives of the new system are to guarantee that the current statistical production, assuring the timeliness of the results and the coherence of estimates with those from other data providers. Uh, widen analysis potentialities by optimizing the complementarity of the sources, further expanding the detail of information, improving territorial coverage, allowing the production of derived variables and generalized indicators to reduce the respondent burden and the cost, since we think that part, some, uh, or part of some surveys could be replaced by uh, uh, this system. And so uh, we will need only to implement uh, surveys to um, deepen specific uh, topics. So they could be uh, less extensive and so uh, also um, uh, less costly. Uh, to allow easy, uh, to easily correlate different phenomena, uh, primarily education and occupation, both at cross-sectional and longitudinal level, and to support other ISTAT production processes, as I mentioned before. To reach this, uh, we uh, started with the extensive review of the statistical information needs, uh, focusing on uh, what, what is already produced, but also trying to um, um, try to guess what could be uh, produced in, in the future, what is needed. So trying to anticipate, uh, let's say, user needs. Then uh, we uh, started, we are on the way of reviewing uh, all the sources, uh, um, administrative and survey, in terms of the content, uh, coverage, release time, times. And then we um, are planning, are designing, so we are in, in, a, 
design phase of this uh, system. So we uh, designed, uh, they started to design the uh, processing um, step that is um, say, um, that uh, concerns a, a first phase of pretreatment of the sources in terms of a harmonization, time reconciliation, units and variable selection, editing and imputation, so control of the quality or the internal coherence uh, within the sources. Then the second step, important step is the integration and validation. So, uh, which means that uh, uh, you have to decide the data flows and integration rules. And uh, as in all the uh, ISTAT register, registers, uh, um, there is the creation of a, a yearly database, uh, which de uh, then um, is uh, um, uh, feeds the uh, longitudinal database. And here also we have to uh, define all the rules uh, for validating the integrated data. And then, uh, of course, as I uh, mentioned before, uh, this uh, new system also will have an impact on the current surveys. So we could redesign the surveys, uh, taking into account the existence of this uh, uh, central register. Uh, in, in this project, an important part is also um, related to the uh, uh, let's say creation of a, a mirror database that uh, contains the metadata, so the definition of all the concepts that are in the system and the classification and, uh, you know, also, yeah, the definition of the concept the classification and also the quality indicators that we will implement when um, updating yearly uh, the, the register. And finally, uh, in the system, uh, uh, there will be functionalities, or at least we hope so. There will be functionalities for drawing uh, the information, the output information, according uh, to the current and potential information needs and to the formats that are uh, needed uh, uh, to, uh, to feed uh, our uh, um, dissemination systems. Uh, a, an important role in this system is uh, um, um, taken by the new classification. Uh, some uh, um, conditions, starting conditions. Uh, ISTAT released uh, the classification of Italian qualification in 2003. And since then, uh, many national reforms have been implemented. Here on the right, you have a list, uh, I don't know if it is exhaustive, but of the most uh, important ones. Uh, at the same time, in this period, uh, new versions of the international classifications have been released. So this led to the importance uh, of uh, updating and having a new uh, version of the classification. And for the purpose of the system, an update in the shared classification must have the following functions. Uh, to support the field surveys data collection by allowing the unambiguous classification of the current and past attainments and programs. To allow adequate uh, analysis and integration of current and past administrative data. To allow over time comparisons at national and international level. ISTAT is carrying on this project uh, in co cooperation with other uh, actors of the system, uh, in particular with the two ministries of education and research, university and research, and with the agency uh, for a national agency for active uh, um, labor policies and the National Institute. Uh, uh, for um, the analysis of public policies, uh, so namely ANPAL and INAP. So it's a, a cooperation work since we want to be a shared tool. And uh, the characteristics of this new classification 
are that uh, it will be hierarchical, which means that uh, can put together different levels of details uh, from a, a higher level to a very detailed level, harmonized uh, at national and international le le level, complete, and uh, we want also to be flexible because we are sure that uh, in the next future other reforms will uh, be implemented. So we need a tool uh, also supported by a mechanism for the update, the continuous update. Uh, coming to the thematic register on education and training, uh, this will be a stable and structured database following longitudinally the persons in their lifelong education and training path from the first entering in the formal education system to the last exit. It will be part of the stat wider system of statistical registers SEER. Let's uh, see briefly what is it, it is. Uh, this system uh, is uh, um, composed by four base registers, which means uh, registers on the so-called base populations uh, that are parts, persons and households, uh, productive units, and the places and territory territorial units. Uh, uh, the fourth uh, register is a, a register of the activities that links uh, all the previous uh, three units. Together with these base uh, registers, uh, there will be satellite registers that can be thematic, so they uh, are focused on given uh, uh, topics or they can be, like say, they say, extended. So they are, they concern the base populations, but they deepen some um, aspects. And the, um, the thematic register on education and, uh, and um, training will be one of these satellite registers, together with the thematic register on labor, uh, the register on incomes and so on. Uh, concerning the structure and main content of the, um, of the register, um, this will be a big uh, relational database with its uh, uh, counterpart uh, on the metadata and quality database, which is uh, um, part of a centralized system managing metadata and uh, uh, quality developed at ISTAT. And the most important uh, statistical units that will be managed in the system are the uh, so-called education position. So it's a unit uh, linking together the person, the institution, and the educational program, and uh, uh, documenting uh, um, all the characteristics year by year of this uh, um, relationship. Another important unit will be, uh, I call it attainments. So for each person in the, in the database, uh, there will be the list of all the attainments uh, he or, her or she uh, obtained in his or her uh, life. Another uh, unit is the person itself because we need to also manage uh, people in terms of uh, considering uh, uh, dates and reasons for entering and exiting the register and other characteristics related to the person like maximum education level uh, and other context indicators, social cultural factors related to the family and the context. Uh, another unit will be internship. Uh, so far we have data related to the uh, techni uh, technical institutes, uh, ETS, ITS in Italian, uh, and we will collect the data on the period, the hours of this internship, uh, partners, uh, partners uh, places, uh, economic activity, and finally, we also uh, have um, an area of the system on the institution uh, is, um, providing edu uh, education and training. So all the characteristics uh, in, in terms of infrastructures, in terms of uh, uh, also indicators uh, at the uh, institution level. 
And all these, uh, these are the main, uh, then there are other uh, units, smaller units, but this will uh, allow us to track uh, all the uh, important events in the life of people related to education. Uh, let's come to an example. No, there's something uh, wrong with the, sorry, with the, I don't know. Okay, I, mm, let's do like this. Okay, so I show just a second. Uh, no, uh, as an example on how we want to exploit uh, these, uh, the, the sources, uh, um, let's consider the Invalsi data. So we think that this uh, data will be uh, usefully uh, integrated both at individual uh, level, considering uh, its individual scores and levels that are related to the unit's uh, person and education position. And, uh, but we think also that they could be relevant, relevant in, in for the, um, at the school level, as indicators at school level. Um, and so related to the uh, statistical unit institution, in particular school. And this, uh, this approach uh, will uh, allow us uh, to uh, link together the educational, educational level, the learn, learning quality, and then also with the integration with other uh, register within ISTAT, also labor market outcomes. So state of the art, um, we um, started the activities or review of information needs and sources, update and enrichment of the classification, education and training programs and qualifications, identification and definition of concepts uh, for the uh, register and identification of the of a first uh, list of units and variables uh, for the of the register. Uh, future plans are to release the new classification. Uh, fine tune uh, the content and setup of the architecture of the register, uh, define uh, all the data flows and uh, rules uh, for feeding uh, the register, and develop uh, metadata and quality indicator system. And then, uh, last, uh, we have in mind to carry on a test on the use of the register data for PhD graduates education to work transition analysis. Uh, so this uh, topic wa was usually covered by a survey at ISTAT. We want to uh, try to use a, as a pilot uh, this uh, data from the two registers and see how much uh, information we can replace uh, with the administrative data. We know not all, but to see how uh, can be used. Concluding, uh, official statistics uh, can contribute to support the political decision-making process in the field of education and training. Uh, the understanding of a complex phenomena uh, require, um, requires structured the multi-perspective data. Uh, however, important synergies can derive from the exploitation, uh, thus the integration of the various data sources and then it will be important to complete the information framework with the sectors for which adequate data are not available yet. So to improve the coverage uh, of the various sectors at the micro level. Um, uh, I thank you for the attention. Uh, of course, I'm available for any question you may have. Thank you. Thank you, Giovanna. Are there any questions? Lorenzo. Uh, good morning. Um, just a few questions. Uh, first one is uh, if this data <coughs> will become available, available <coughs> through the system protocol. Um, 
because I think it, it would be very, very important. Uh, the second one is, uh, you mentioned the indagine sul inserimento professionale dei dottorandi, but uh, um, I noticed that even the indagine sull'inserimento professionale dei laureati was not uh, um, implemented. So uh, it will be substituted by, by the system of registers. And the third point is that my, <clears throat> It's not a question, but <laughs> I think it's important. You mentioned the, um, the fact that you want to anticipate the needs of decision makers. Well, my organization, which is a local authority, uh, authority provincia, is uh, very interested in, um, in testing these, um, these instruments. So if there is uh, interest on the side of ISTAT to, uh, to, to cooperate to, to try to, to apply these, uh, uh, these instruments to um, problems of uh, local planning, local uh, decision making in the field of education, we, we, are, we would be very, very, very much interested in this cooperation. Okay, thank you for the questions. Um, well, um, considering the availability of the data through the system, system the national statistical system, the Italian system, um, so far, uh, registers data uh, have not been um, uh, released uh, in the, in the uh, system system, as far as I know. Uh, you have to consider that, uh, uh, of course, we have a lot of constraints in terms of privacy. So in order to implement such a project, I had to develop a, a very detailed uh, document that has been, uh, that is provided to, to um, the, gar the garante, garan privacy, privacy guarantee the person in charge of uh, privacy in Italy. And uh, so also for the dissemination, I believe that uh, a, a, an analysis of what can be released and with what level of uh, detail has to be carried out. Uh, because of course we cannot uh, share micro data that can be uh, uh, at risk of uh, privacy and confidentiality. So and we, our aim is to produce uh, statistical data. So from a statistical point of view, we are not, uh, of course, uh, interested to do a single person. Uh, you are, of course. And, and we have to, and I agree that we have to support your uh, needs, uh, but could, could be at the local level. So, um, Considering the survey on the transition of the PhD students, uh, yes, you are right. Istat uh, has not carried out uh, it. Uh, we are having, uh, uh, you know, lack of resources. Uh, people, a lot of people are retired. Uh, for maybe anche, or maybe also the COVID was a, a problem. So uh, now we are focusing on what. Uh, is uh, uh, mandatory for us uh, because it's a regulation. Uh, the idea is that uh, we want to uh, replace this part of this survey because we will not never be able to, re to replace all the, the, the information uh, um, that uh, came from this survey. Uh, but the idea could be that uh, you use administrative data for, uh, you know, understand that where people is, uh, if uh, they work, they do not work, if they still are in the university system, if they are abroad, and then maybe you can uh, have uh, smaller samples uh, to uh, focus uh, on, uh, uh, you know, the quality of the work. Uh, so you, you can have a very focused the samples uh, uh, to uh, get the information, the qualitative information that you obtained with the, the, the survey. Um, yeah, I think that, I don't know if, uh, um, yeah, I think that um, uh, as a local, uh, as local de uh, de uh, decision makers, you have to be part of our um, committees and groups in which information needs are discussed. 
So I don't, I don't know if, uh, um, you know, that we have the um, groups at a system level uh, with representatives from all the uh, most important uh, users groups. We had a committee, I, I don't remember if it was renewed, uh, but the committee of users. So I think you have to speak aloud and, uh, and ask because if the, given that the constraints of the privacy, we can provide data, this is our uh, duty. Yeah. Thank you. Are there questions? Online? Sorry, excuse me. Question, microphone. Thanks very much. And uh, um, I just have a very short question, which is about uh, the availability and the timing uh, of this data. I am an economist from the University of Torino and we work a lot on Invalsi data. But of course, as economists, we are very uh, interested in how the human capital transforms then on the labor market. So for us, it would be of course, very, very useful to uh, start to do research on linking the Invalsi data to the labor market outcomes. And for, um, I was wondering, uh, well, a couple of questions, the timing. So when do you think this will be available for research? And then also uh, how, because for instance, if you link the Invalsi data to the registered data from IMSS uh, labor market out outcome, I know that, uh, for instance, if we want to work on IMPS uh, registered data, we have to go to the physically to the laboratories of IMPS to use the data. So it was just a cl clarification questions about the use of uh, in the future of the data. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here you are talking about two, two registers of ISTAT. One is the, the one on labor, which is uh, uh, more advanced respect to this one. This is in the planning stage. Uh, although uh, even the, the, the register on labor is not complete with all the categories of labor. But there, for example, you have integrated the data from IMPS. So they are already there. <clears throat> um, and the, concerning the thematic register, sorry. The, the work started this year, and so we hope to have a, a first version in a couple of years. So the time is 